then also let's um, read some examples from our from textbook. So here, um, in this part, right, this part, you can see some Uh, about this kind of question, like a verb, a bull, verb, right? And also we have here uh, adjective, bull, adjective, right? So we call this kind of question is affirmative negative question, right? So like, let's read some examples. The first one, 你冷不冷? Are you cold or not cold? So 冷 means cold. Are you feeling cold? Like 你冷不冷? Are you cold or not cold? 你们累不累? So in text three, we are going to learn that the adjective 累 means tired. Like, are you tired or not tired? 西山漂亮不漂亮? The West Mountain is beautiful or not beautiful. So 漂亮 we have learned, are beautiful. The next one, uh, 你去不去? You going or not going? 你喝不喝茶? 喝 means to drink. Like, do you drink tea or not? 你看不看电影? Do you watch a movie or not? Right? And also, we have this kind of type, like wave um, adjective, uh, not a verb and an adjective, right? So verb one, bu, verb one, and then we continue with a verb two and its object, right? Like 你去不去看电影? 你去不去看电影? Are you going or not going to watch a movie, right? And 你想不想买电脑? Like, 想, want to do something, willing to do something. Like, do you want or not want to buy a computer, right? Okay, so this is a, a new type of question, which is called affirmative negative question. And when you're answering this kind of question, you directly say, so the affirmative part or negative part without saying shi or bu shi because this is not a yes or no question. Okay. Okay, let's come back to the uh, text two. Okay. And now please answer the two uh, three questions according to the content of text two. So the first one, let's read the question together. The first one. So Martin. 的朋友,马丁的朋友,这个星期天忙不忙? Okay, so Martin's friend, Martin's friend, right? Like Martin's friend, this Sunday busy or not busy? Right, so is, is Martin's friend busy or not busy this Sunday? Right, so how would you answer? 马丁的朋友, Right? So Martin's friend this Sunday is not busy. Right? And next question. Next question. So what is Martin going to do this Sunday? Right? So how would you answer? The answer will be here. So Martin So Martin like is planning to go to Clap Mountain this Sunday, right? And last question. Martin So Martin's friend also want to go? Okay, so uh how would you answer? Right, the answer will be here. So Martin the Peng Yo So Martin's friend also want to go to uh Clap Mountain with Martin, right? Okay, so this is text two. And now let's like move into the text three, the last text of this lesson 10. Okay. So also first please uh let's learn the new words and expressions together of text three, okay. 
累，觉得，休息，一下，小，茶馆，茶，喝，一点儿。OK 啊、uh, ，Let's read、uh, together again。大家累，觉得，休息。一下，小茶馆，茶喝一点儿。Okay, so let's confirm the meaning of each word or expression. The first one, okay, is a pronoun. Ah,、uh, means like all, everybody, everyone. So you can hear um at the beginning of each lesson. So I say, 大家好。大家好 ，so hello everyone. So I use 大家 right? So which means everybody, everyone. Okay. So 大家好 ，hello everyone, hello everybody. Okay. And next one, ah,、uh, next one. 累 is the adjective means tired. 累啊、uh, ，Are you tired? 啊、uh, ，你累吗 ？So we can use yes, ah,、uh, this yes or no question. 你累吗 ？And also we can make ah、uh, an affirmative negative question. So, 你累吗 We can say 你累不累 Okay, 你累不累 Okay. So when you make a yes, uh, like affirmative, uh, negative question, we say 你累不累 Because this is not a yes or no question, so we don't use ma at the end. So please also pay attention to this point. Okay. So 你累不累 Stop. Okay. So you, we don't say we never say 你累不累吗 Okay, we don't use this. So please do not mix up these two two types of question. So we use 吗 for yes or no question, and you say 你累吗 That's okay. And we use、uh, verb or not verb like 你累不累 So without 吗 for affirmative and negative question. Okay. And next one. Ah,、uh, 觉得 think, feel. Ah,、uh, 觉得啊、uh, 觉得 I feel, I think, tired. I'm tired. Ah,、uh, 我觉得很累啊、uh, 我觉得很累 I feel tired. Okay.、And、next one, 休息 take a breath, have a rest. 休息 okay. 休息你休息吗 You want to ah?、Uh, 你想休息吗 You want to take a rest? So 你想休息吗 The next one is a、um, important expression. Okay, ah,、uh, 一下啊、uh, 一下 So in spoken Chinese, like we usually add a er at the end. So like this is a 一下 like 一下 So in spoken Chinese, usually we say 一下啊、uh, 一下休息一下 So um, this is a expression that used after a verb to indicate one action or one try. Okay, so later we'll repeat this again. So like to take a rest a little bit. So you can say 休息一下啊，休息一下 right? So to indicate this is a uh one action uh not won't won't be lasting too long. It's just one try a little bit. You do this action, this action just for a little bit, not too much, and this action won't be lasting very long time. Okay, so which means Ah,、uh, this is what 一下 means. Okay, so 休息一下 to rest a little bit. And next one, ah,、uh, 小 small little. And 茶馆 is a ah、uh, noun tea house, which ah、uh, in which 茶 means tea. Okay, so this 馆 ah、uh, we also learn the 饭馆 like a restaurant and 图书馆 library right 图书馆 So they also share the same one. So you can guess the meaning of this one. It's kind of like a house, a building, right? This this kind. And 茶 means tea. And to drink, 喝 right? To drink, 喝茶 to drink tea. And the last one, ah,、uh, 一点儿 a little, a bit. And this is ah、uh, similar to 一下 but 一点儿ah、uh, is used to modify noun basically. Like usually we use like 一点儿 To um modify a noun, okay, like to drink a little tea. To drink a little tea, we can say 喝一点儿茶啊，喝一点儿茶 to drink a little tea. 
right? And 一项，比如 we use 一项 to modify an action. Ah,、uh, this action is just a little bit, not too much, won't lasting too long, just one try. Okay. So now let's come into the content of text three. Okay. Ah,、uh, it's also a conversation. Ah,、uh, it's a conversation between Ah、uh, Cui Hao, Lin Na, and Martin. Okay. And the scenery. Ah,、uh, um. Is like Cui Hao. Let's read together. Cui Hao and 朋友们一起在西山爬山 Okay, so Cui Hao is climbing climbing the West Mountain with his friends at the West Mountain. Okay, Cui Hao and 朋友一起在呃西山爬山 So this is the scene of text three. So you you can imagine several friends. They are climbing mountains at the West Mountain. Okay. Now let's to listen to the recording first. 课文，大家累不累？累。我也觉得很累。我们休息一下吧。前边有一个小茶馆，我们去那儿喝一点茶，好不好？好啊，嗯 ，OK， so let's read again. Please read after me. 大家累不累？累，我也觉得很累。我们休息一下吧。前边有一个小茶馆，我们去那儿喝一点茶，好不好？好啊。OK。So the first line is just a、e, uh, affirmative negative question. We just learned this kind of type of question in Chinese, right? So 大家累不累 Everybody tired or not tired, right? And you can pay attention to the pronunciation of this kind of question. So the 不 in between is read as a neutral tone, right? So we read 大家累不累 right? So 累不累 So this 不 is read as a neutral tone here. So does everybody? Uh, feel tired or not? And Lina answered, "Lay tired, ah,、uh, tired." So you can see Lina didn't answer with "shi" because this is not a yes or no question, right? There's no ma, right? So you can directly answer with the affirmative part or the negative part, right? So 大家累不累？累 or you can say 不累 right? Martin says, 我也觉得很累，我们休息一下吧。I also feel very tired. We rest a little bit. This ba like means kind of、uh, indicates a kind of suggestion, right? A suggestion, like how about something, right? This is ba when you're giving a, a advice or suggestion, and you can use this ma to make to make it a very mild tone, right? We rest a little bit. How about we take a rest a little bit? How about Let's take a rest for a little bit. Okay, so this 一下 means this rest won't be lasting too long time. Just one try. Like let's take a rest a little bit. Won't be too long time. Just one try. Okay. A next line. Cui Hao says, 前边有一个小茶馆 So the front at the front, ah,、uh, in front. So there is a small tea house. 我们去那儿喝一点儿茶，好不好？我们去那儿喝一点儿茶，好不好 ？So let's go there to drink a little tea. So you can you can see this a little, uh, like this 一点儿 So we put before a noun. So 一点儿 modify 茶 modify the tea. So 我我们喝一点儿茶 We drink a little tea. So we won't drink too much tea. Okay, you can understand in this way. So 一点儿茶 means a little bit. 好不好？好不好 ？OK， again， so at front， in front， there is a little tea house. Let's go there to drink a little tea. 啊、uh, ，好不好 ？Is that okay or not? OK， 呃、uh, ，and everybody answered 好啊 ，Great， OK， 啊、uh, ，All right， no problem。OK， so 好啊。So here， um， in this content， uh， in this context。Uh, so um, we uh focus on like two small 
like uh, expression with 一下 and 一点 and you should tell the difference between 一下 and 一点 so 一下 is attached you know uh, attached or we say used after a verb it's like 休息一下, 休息一下 to rest a little bit so how about to look a little bit you can say you can say 看一下 like 看一下 okay um and next one uh, 一点, so we put 一点 before a noun, basically, like 一点茶, a little tea, uh, 一点茶, um. and also uh, you can make some other expressions by yourself, okay, like uh, 一点, like a little, a little rice, a little rice, a little meal, like 一点饭, uh, 一点饭, okay, uh, a little bread, a little bread, 一点面包, like we have learned 面包, uh, let's eat a little bread, 吃一点面包, uh, 吃一点面包, so this 一下 and 一点, okay, um, there is a quick note, it's here, so let's quickly go through, so for 一下, like 一下 is used after a verb indicating a short moment, sometimes it also means the for once or for a try, right? Okay, and the EDR, like comparing to 一下, means a little. It is used as an attribute, attribute before a noun, so uh, which we just uh, said, said, like we put 一下, EDR, oh, sorry, EDR before a noun, like uh, to make it attributed to the noun, okay? So in spoken Chinese, like E is often omitted, okay? So, 我买一点苹果, like I buy a little apple, a little apple, maybe several, two apples maybe, right? And this E can be omitted in spoken Chinese. You, you can directly say, 我买点苹果, 我买点苹果, okay? 我们喝一点水吧, let's drink. So this ba, like gives suggestion. Let's drink a little water. And in spoken Chinese, this E can be omitted. So you can directly say, 我们喝点水吧. And next one, 我有一点事儿, I have a little bit of business, I have a little business, right? So E can be omitted, so you can directly say 我有点事儿, 我有点事儿, I have a little business, right? Okay, so that's all for text three, and that's all for the lesson 10.